Hi guys, Squall here, back with another episode of Construction Simulator. Yay! Everybody's favourite game. Um, <laughs> I'm on my way down to uh, the dealer, the, the sort of vehicle dealer actually. I've been given a special mission. A special mission. I think it wants to talk through the purchasing of vehicles, possibly even allow us to purchase a vehicle. I'm not sure yet. Oh, my favourite tunnel. I do love this place. If you remember, at the end of episode 3, we built a house and I, if you remember, I sat on the bench just overlooking the hill. Well, I eventually got up off the bench and uh, had a quick look at the contracts. I did a very quick contract, which was to just... It, it was nothing more than moving some stuff to the building site and then the, the uh, kind of a bungalow got erected. So I, I didn't bother showing that one. But uh, it got me a bit of money, and as you can see, top right there, we've got 100,000 now, which is good. And uh, it also unlocked um, the, the purchasing of vehicles, which we're going to go to and have a look now. I don't know if we can afford anything at all. We've got, like, oh my god. Oh! I could not avoid that guy. That AI is as good as your truck. Lol. But yeah. Uh, through the reds. Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, I'm sorry. That was definitely my fault. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, I kind of might have caused that one, if I'm honest. Um, yeah. So that happened. And now, yeah, give me, a, give me a bit of a push there, dude. That's good. And you fear it. If you could just knock me off this vehicle, that would be epic. Thank you, dude. Okay, that's not going to happen. I think we we'll have to teleport. Oh, you know what's annoying? We can't teleport to the, um, the... Oh, we can. Vehicle dealer. We'll have to teleport there. There we go. Uh, yep, we're around the back. Yeah, because I've been here before. Basically, the way the game works is you can teleport somewhere if you've been there before. But if you've not, you have to uh, go and discover it. But luckily, I showed you this bit before. I came here to buy this vehicle, if you remember one with the crane uh, that was our original one which you can't sell annoyingly so it kind of sits around and does nothing right Mr. Foreman are you the foreman? you're not the foreman you're not the foreman you're the vehicle dealer hang on a sec <laughs> special jobs uh, talk to the foreman I have to accept it herp -a derp now it tells us okay now it tells us where he goes oh my god <laughs> it's pretty oh man what a fail what a fail it's not not to worry though we can just teleport back home base village basically the foreman's back at the home base i didn't accept the contract so left leg leap here he is hello sorry uh i i kind of got involved in a bit of an accident and then i drove to the vehicle dealer because i was excited because i thought you was there you don't care do you Okay. A growing fleet. Hey, Paul, I just checked our funds, and I think it's time to expend, extend our vehicle fleet. I think I'll be the judge of that, pal. Make a trip to the vehicle dealer. I just came from there. Maybe they can make us a good offer. Yep, that sounds good. I'll show you the location on the map. i just been there, bro. Just ask for good. I know you know it's good old days. You can't miss him. He's a giant of a man. No, he's not. He's dead small. I'll let him know that you're coming. Okay, I'll check if there are any good offers for us. Yay! I'm going to teleport back to the vehicle dealer. For 244 cents or whatever the currency is. I like the teleporting ability. It kind of reduces the grind a little bit. It reminds me of playing World of Warcraft and getting those waypoints that you can fly to because it's just easier than walking. Because World of Warcraft is the original walking game until DayZ took over that crown. Right, come on, have a closer look. Ah, who is this? You must be Paul. I am a giant of a man. My old friend Pete told me you were coming. How is the old rascal? You came at night. You came at the right time, by the way. I just got a few new vehicles. Might interest you. Oh, like, this, this guy sounds like the dodgiest vehicle dealer. There is something for everybody. Just don't ask where it came from. Ah, yes, you must be Gerd. Nice to meet you. 
As far as I know, Pete is fine, and yeah, I like that. And yes, I would like to increase our vehicle fleet by one vehicle. By the one vehicle? Come on, let me make you an offer you can't refuse. Let me put a horse's head in your bed. I'll sell you a fleet of the most prescient of the most modern construction machines for a price you won't find anywhere. Because you nicked it, bro. Because it's not legit, is it? I want the paperwork. One step at a time. I think one is enough for now. The, the big flatbed truck with a crane is really nice. What, you mean the one I already have? Wow, this game's not really caught on with this, has it? I, I've actually got this vehicle. Yes, it sure is a beauty. With the integrated crane loading and unloading pallets and the other stuff will be as easy as pie. In fact, you just drove up in one. No, it didn't say that. Like, look, I will make you a great offer, and if you buy a vehicle, you can try it out on our premises. Good to know. Give me some time to look around. No problem at all. Oh, before I forget, if you don't need your vehicle anymore, or if you run out of space for vehicles, you can bring it back to me and I will buy it back for 75% of the original price, as long as it wasn't one you started with, in which case I'm not going to buy it. It's definitely something to consider. Just take your time and let me know if you find anything you like. With the world's dodgiest dealer... Did he not say... Hang on, that's not good, is it? Is that good? I'm looking at you, bro. He said it was a giant of a man, and this is not a giant of a man. So, yeah, calling me confused. That was an awesome script, though. The script that totally ignored the fact that I have that vehicle. Let's have a look what we can afford. We've got 100 grand, so we could afford an escort vehicle, which is not much use, uh, to be fair, because unless you're in multiplayer, you can't really escort anybody anyway. A uh, small flatback truck we started with. The deposit tipper we've already got. The flatback truck with the crane we, we bought. Uh, the small excavator we have. Hang on, let me have a look at my vehicles. We have a small excavator already. So we don't need that. Uh, a roller we don't have. Now a roller might possibly open up some new stuff. We could even afford a small half pipe truck. Though I'm not really... I'm not really sure what that's going to be used for. The low boy truck we can get, but that tends to be used for pulling... Uh, where is it? There's like a trailer, I think. The low boy trailer. Um, so... Apart from the roller, I'm not really seeing anything to do. So we could buy that and possibly hope that it'll give us some more stuff. Mobile crane. I so want that. I want that in my life. It looks amazing. I'll tell you what, let's buy the roller. Sounds like I'm talking about a Rolls Royce, but I'm not. Do you want to purchase the roller? Yes. Let's kind of have a quick look at it. Uh, okay. When the game stopped being a bit weird. I think it should be around the corner. Here it is. Yay! Got my own roller. Got my own Rolls Royce. So, I think the controls are pretty simple. Drive forward and roll things. Which makes me wonder what I can roll, actually. Can I, can I, roll, can I roll one of these trees over here? These little bushes? Can I flatten these? Nope, because they don't actually exist. Look at that. Disappointed! I wonder if we can... Um, are there any cyclists? Oh, there's a bike over there. It's not got a person on it, but it's as good as. Turn! Aww. Wouldn't it be so cool if you could just... Hello. Dude, do you want a wrestling match? Come on. Let's go. One on one. Let's do this. I refuse to believe that my my roller... I keep trying to call it steamroller. I refuse to believe that my roller can't push you. I'm pretty certain this thing could wreck anything on this road. Out the way. Oh my god. You get stuck on everything here. They can't give you equipment like this and not let you do really fun things with them. Like, ah, Carmageddon, ah, Carmageddon, squish. Alright, that's enough of that. I'm going to wait and see what jobs come up in two minutes. Interestingly enough, a job's actually appeared, look. Under the jobs, a special jobs hotel. Which sounds kind of cool. Talk to the foreman. 
and yeah, do some stuff. I'm not sure what this one's about, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's find out what it's about. Maybe we get to do some extra cool stuff. Right, talk to the foreman. Uh, I'm just going to teleport back. We'll do that way. Back to the home base. We'll leave the truck there. Uh, right, Mr. Foreman. The hotel. A few minutes ago, the manager of the hotel down at the coast called me. At the moment, they have some gardeners extending their park area. They desperately need more plants and a whole load of hummus. But have very limited transport capability. Isn't that something you put on a... Um, on pizza bread. Or maybe you spell it slightly differently. I think we should help. Maybe there will be some more work in the future and they know where to turn for professional help. Yes, that sounds great. The nursery is on the way back, on the way to the hotel. You can get everything you need there. You can fetch a lot of soil from the gravel plants. Oh, God. Come on, let's get on the road and show the guys how the real pros get things done. On the way, dodgy builders. Inexperienced journeyman. It's time for things to get serious. Talk to Pete. I'm not sure which one Pete is. Anyway, transport four cubic meters of earth from the gravel plants into the marked area and load from there. Get six spruce seedlings from the nursery and transport to the marked area, then talk to the project manager. Right, let's make a left and... Hmm. Let me try and remember where you get soil from. Let me have a talk to this guy a second. He tells you where to go. Uh, if you're looking for concrete, if you want to get rid of some bulk, if you need some soil, drive below one of the silos beside the funnel in the marked white area. One of the silos beside the funnel in the, one of the marked white area. Okay, is that that thing? Let's try it. <clears throat> Let's jump out of here. Now that says Leaper. That was not... That's not it. The marked white area. Is it down there? It must be down there. Can we get down there this way? Oh, is this it? Oh, here we go. That's it. Fine. I wonder if it, like, asks you how much you want. Or just fills it up because it's a 4 cubic meter skip. Uh, okay. So... That's not... That doesn't look like a... F <laughs> you can't be serious. Was I supposed to bring the flatbed here? Wow. I think... Just looking at that logo. That logo. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, let's try it. Small flatbed truck is that one. We don't need the one with the crane. And then we shall jump from here uh, to the gravel plant. And then we'll try... Putting this thing under there. So it seems the skips, the containers are only used for excavation, but if you want to just take soil, then you've got to take one of these things, is what it looks like. Didn't know that. Hopefully we'll get an option. There we go. Wow. Filling process has started. Done. <laughs> 266, it can come out the profit. And presumably, we just need to tip it into that. Mind out, bro. 2,000 for Earth. I hope that's not coming out the profit. Let me just double check where we're putting this. Into the marked area. Unload it there, fine. Okay. There we go. Let's get him out of here. It's getting well clear of the building site. Get six spruce seedlings. Uh, 
Right, so we put that there. Get six spruce ceiling from the nursery and transport the cargo into the marked area. So let's jump into the flatbed with crane. And spruce with ceilings is the nursery, which is just down the road. So we'll drive it rather than taxiing it. Right, one of you is going to turn left. No, you're not. Okay, cool. Nursery on the left. Here we go. Now, setup is key here. I'm going to assume they're going to appear on those shelves. That's my assumption. So let's hope that's okay. Uh, where's it? Here's a dude. Yo! Hey! Hi there! Hello! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> was it six? Uh, there we go. Three grand! I'm gonna make no money at this rate. Wowzers. Five on top, which is easy. And one down at the bottom, which is annoying. Uh-oh. Do I seriously have to forklift this? Oh, my God. <sighs> In that case, I'm going to have to move this thing. Tilt back. There we go. At least it means I can get it loaded on properly, I guess. That camera. Okay. That's the one. That's the shot. Now I wonder if I could push one of these things back, you know. Lovely. This camera angle view is so cool. If you're a real forklift driver, though, you, you can't get this kind of a view. It must be really tricky trying to get something this high. Uh, okay, that's weird. Look at the look at the legs; they kind of fell through the whole thing. This is why the crane is so much easier. Like this thing just takes so much time. It's so fast. years ago one of the friends of mine used to be a, uh, a forklift driver and he was earning really good money because they're paid by basically the way they're paid is like how many jobs they do not how many hours they work which which essentially means that um, if you're better at your job if you're a quicker forklift driver then you get paid more so we used to work quite long hours and just get loads and loads of jobs done and, uh, yeah, he was earning good money. But I can see... Oh, I can see how there's definitely a skill. You know, to be able to do this well and say... I mean, obviously, if they break things, they don't get paid, but... You know, to do this well and quickly is definitely an art. Come on, don't mess me about. Push back, that's it. Beautiful. Right, get out. Latch it all up. Side panels up. Good to go. Right, oh, hang on. I can't remember where the hotel was now. Is it down here somewhere? There it is. Yep, yeah, turn left. This is a nasty junction to pull out of. Look at this. Just dumps you straight onto the road. And that fence makes it hard to see anything. Not even safe. It needs one of those mirrors on it. Have you ever seen that? When people... Um, when they pull out onto roads like that. Particularly people who have houses that live 
like that are on main roads like this in the country and they put those kind of mirrors that are round and um, concave no convex so that when you look at them they can they can look at the mirror and see if there's anything coming down the road before they even reverse onto the road because visibility is so bad and that's what they need there overtook the red fiat like a boss so past the wood chip in place and on the right by the water down here is the hotel A very pleasant location. Wow, if you go off there, you're doomed. <laughs> if you go straight in, you're in the water. New contracts available. Oh, but look, the, um, the overhead highway. I think this is it. The brand new hotel. Probably a Premier Inn. And I don't have a forklift here. And I can't use the crane. So that's interesting. What does it say about this? Okay. Well, can we just... I don't know. Can we actually get the crane and just push them off, maybe? thing is, if he was using that one, you'd have to bring the forklift just to unload it. How tedious is that? Okay, I'm going for the quick and dirty approach. Thing is, the other one tips, but I'm not sure if he can fit six on it. Maybe I'm not supposed to have this vehicle at this point in the game. Okay, let's try. Oh, we can pick them up. What the heck? Oh my god, I did this before and it wouldn't... Oh my life. I did this before and it wouldn't let me. I didn't get those little... Dang it! I did all that forklifting for nothing. Oh, well, it was good practice. You scumbag game. You saw that. You can vouch for me. I didn't make it up. I put the crane over that thing and it didn't highlight it. Right, just for that, I'm going to drop that on the floor. <laughs> Here, have your spruce. This is going to be funny. I think this completes the job. So basically what we're saying... Oh, no, look. It nearly didn't fit. I think what we're saying here is we drop some spruce off, a bit of soil, and then all of a sudden a hotel is going to get built. This is epic. I reckon if we had more equipment later on, we could actually help to build more of the hotel. I don't think it's counted that. Because it's on top of the other one. Ka-ching! Okay. Talk to the project manager. Is that the project manager, do you think? I bet he's going to be like, Okay, thanks for that. We can take it from here. By the way, what did you do with the spruce? That's really weird. I assume you're the pro you're PM, bro. Are you the PM? You're the PM. Wow, that was fast. Many thanks for your prompt delivery. If only all companies were so efficient and reliable. Well, yes, we're dodgy builders. Nobody can beat us. I'm sure we will. What type, kind of jobs do you take on? Apart from garden and landscaping, we do all kinds of construction work, as well as special transport jobs. Anything dodgy, really. Hmm, construction, you say? Strokes his beard. Well, this is worth considering. You know... The management is planning four, ho four luxury beach houses right over there beside the hotel. As soon as the bidding starts, I can let you know, and of course, I will put in a good word for you with the management. That's very generous. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. In other words, future contracts, when you've got the stuff, maybe. What I want to know is, is it going to build a hotel when we drive off? You know what I think is going to happen? The hotel won't get built. We'll end up um, driving back here later. Oh no, never mind. District's unlocked. Unlocking new construction area of vacation homes. Ooh. 21 grand. That's not a hotel! 
That's a hotel. That's just a play area. Let me have a look what they did with my spruce. Can we actually have a... Oh, this is nice. Look at this. I can't even go in it. There's a bound... Oh my god, there's a bounding box all the way around it. Look, I can't actually walk inside the, the thing that I built. Developers, you are so dull. I wanted to go on that, and you won't let me. You what, I can't even get any wind. Look, there's a bounding box right here. I can't go any further. That was actually a good job. Um, all things being equal. We got any more special ones? Relocation to the city. Right, we're going to do that next. That's going to have to wait for the next episode because we've run out of time. Uh, hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, happy constructing.